Welcome back everyone. Now that we have a good understanding of the fundamental concepts in view, it's time to get started with the component architecture. I know that we did talk about components at a very high level early in the series, but now let's go through the topic in a lot more detail as they are pretty much what you need to build medium to large scale enterprise applications. Similar to React and Angular, Vue follows a component based architecture. This lets you break down your application into small encapsulated parts which can then be composed to make more complex user interfaces. For example, a traditional website can be broken down into header, side nav, main content and footer. You can say that this particular application has five components. One component for header, one for side nav, one for the main content, one for footer and finally one component to contain every other component. The containing component is the root component and is usually named as app component written in a file called app.view in your project. Each of the four nested components describe only a portion of the UI. However, all the components come together to make up the entire application. The components are also reusable. The same component can be used with different properties to display different information. For example, the side nav component can be the left side nav as well as the right side nav. Only the data has to change. Now how does a component translate to code in our application? Well, we have seen that bit quite a lot. A component code is usually placed in a .view file and can contain a template block, a script block and a style block. App.view is one such example. But in a real world application, you're often going to create tens or hundreds of components each describing a portion of the UI. In this video, let's learn how to create and register a new component in our view application. Now to get us started, I have created a brand new project to learn all about components in Vue. The project name is Vue-Components. You can find the same on my GitHub repo. We want to start from scratch, but the CLI does generate the Hello World component for us, which we don't really need for this video. So let me delete the file and the code pertaining to the Hello World component in app.view. Let me also remove the logo. All right, now let's create our very first component in Vue. The component will simply output a message, Hello Vishwas, in the browser. In the components folder, which is automatically generated, let's create a new file called greet.view. This component needs to render the text Hello Vishwas. So we definitely need some HTML. To define HTML in a view file, we use the template block. So add a template tag, an h2 tag that says Hello Vishwas. All right, we now have the HTML that needs to be rendered in the browser. But as it stands now, the HTML Hello Vishwas is not going to be rendered in the browser because this greet component is in no way connected with the rest of our application. So what we have to do is export this greet component from greet.view, import it in app.view and then include it in the app component template. In other words, we need to register the greet component with our application. Let's start with the greet component export. After the template tag, add a script tag. Within the script tag, we default export an object. The object contains a property called name, which is pretty much the name of the component. Let's name it greet. Now that we are exporting this component from greet.view, let's import it in app.view. 
So in the app.view file, within the script block, first import the component. Import greet from dot slash components slash greet dot view, which is the path to the greet component. Now to include the greet component in app component, we specify the component as a custom HTML tag in the template block. If there is no content between the tags, we can change it to a self-closing tag. However, app component doesn't recognize the greet component yet. So in the script block, we need to specify a property called components and specify the key as well as the value as greet. But we can use the shorthand syntax in ES6. So greet is the key as well as the value. We are basically informing view about the greet component to be utilized in the app component. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see Hello Vishwas. Your first view component is up and running. All right, before we proceed, there is one thing I want to highlight. When we create a new component, it is pretty common that you would want a template block a script block and perhaps even a style block to add some styles. To help you with this, there is a VS Code extension which I recommend you install as well. It is called View VS Code Snippets by Sarah Drasner. The extension gives you a lot of code snippets to improve your coding speed if I can call it that. So go ahead and install it. Once you install it, Creating a new component is very easy. Let's rewrite the code for the greet component using the view snippet. Clear all the code and then type vbase hyphen CSS. As you can see, it gives us the skeleton code for an entire component. We can now make the necessary changes. Template is an h2 tag with the text hello vishwas. The default export contains a name property and we also have a style block. And we will learn about this scoped keyword a few videos down the line but for now this is pretty much where you add the CSS for this greet component. We don't have any so we can leave it as it is. If I format it, save the file, take a look at the browser a component still works as expected. I will be using the VBase snippet for the rest of the series and I want to ensure you have an idea of the extension I'm using. So that is about components in view. Components describe a portion of the user interface. They are reusable and can be nested inside other components. However, we haven't quite seen how they are reusable. Let's learn about that in the next video.